Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, John Go is here, but I am being blessed with the uh, the, the presence and and the uh, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, uh, L. R. Taylor, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Taylor, live and direct from Thailand. He is in the fair country that Steamfest will be happening in about a week and a half or so ish. Um, so Rich is out there getting everybody all warmed up. No, he's, he's actually nowhere near Bangkok. And this is the, this is the, uh, the ignorance that is Western society, right? We think, oh, you're in Thailand. You're right beside Bangkok. No, he's on an Island to the South. So Rich, first of all, uh, how was the trip over, man? And, uh, how's the, uh, how's Thailand? Everybody wants to know, man. Uh, cop. Um, yeah, man, the trip over was awesome. Um, uh... I was expecting a whole lot worse than it turned out to be. It was, it was uh, 18 hours in a plane. Um, but no cigarettes. Was it? Um, I've almost quit. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. No, I've almost quit. But anyhow, so you know, it was uh, wasn't bad. Right. Um, I got here in the middle of the night. They lost my baggage, and because uh, I had to change, they changed my flight at San Francisco, I was going to go to Peking. I ended up going to Shanghai. So my bags went to Peking and I came here. So, you know, I had no bags. There's um, n nothing scarier than losing your bags around the world. Uh, yeah, exactly. And when I went to the counter to tell a lady that my bags hadn't got there, her English was pretty much, hello, how are you? You know, that was about it. Nice. So, yeah, so I uh So how are you finding it? Like like see, like I went to Europe last year, right? And Europe is just like everybody speaks every language out there. So you can you can totally go to and basically any country in Europe with English and people understand you. Is it the same way out there? Or have you found like the English is just like um ninety percent <laughs> of the people speak English. Right. A fair percentage of them speak English in German. Um but uh yeah, they all ninety percent speak English. The old people, um, sixty Sunnis, hey, right. they don't speak English. They don't care, uh, right? Yeah, they don't care. Uh, now the question always is, how good their English? Right. Uh, some of them really good. Some of them you swear that they were, you know, not, you weren't in Thailand. Right. Um, for the most part, though, you know, you got to kind of make sure you. You know, you, you talk Take a little slower. Take your time, right. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and you walk up, you know, a whole bunch of American slang and expect them to understand you. Um, so, yeah, it's it's great, you know. I mean, I can walk around. I can communicate with everybody that I run into, the little food cart vendors and stuff. Of course, you know, here, I'm kind of becoming a legend. You know, I'll frag about myself a little bit. You know, the hat. Man. I'll be I'm down sure the, the, I'm down sure the, the hat. All right, the hat has made you famous in the streets of yeah, Thailand. Yeah, I get, I get Thai people. Yeah, pe Thai people yell at me, cowboy, cowboy. You know, and uh, they remember the hat. You know? I'll walk back by the next day, and somebody will say, "Oh, cowboy, you come back." Yeah, yeah. You so, is there, there, you said there was a Starbucks, or that was in the the. Is there a Starbucks oh, around yeah, there? Oh yeah, there's there's three of them within walking distance of, of my apartment here. So nice. yeah, they're everywhere. And 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 we yeah. saw we saw some of the pictures in Discord last week. The first thing you ate was McDonald's when you got yes, here. Yes, yes. You, you're definitely yes. absorbing the culture of Thailand by going. The question is, was was a Big Mac a Big Mac? A Big Mac was a Big Mac, yes. Right? Tastes exactly the same. The same. Yeah, yeah, exactly the same. Unfortunately. Wow. Unfortunately, um, you're hoping for a little bit of spice, right? A little bit of Thai spice. Yeah, really nice, so. and you throw, throw a little thing in there or something, you know. Nah, it's just a big um, Like I was down on the road, and it was middle of the night, and I was starving, and I seen McDonald's running in there. Um, since, though, no, I uh, tried to store a vulture, and uh, you know, I soup and uh, a few other things. And, uh, I have learned that you eat rice with about every meal, including breakfast, you know, um, things like That's, that. Do you and know what, though? Do you know, seriously, though, the, the rice thing for every meal, 
it's like literally like Western Europe and like American, the Americas. So like, let's say Canada and the States. That's like the only countries that don't do the rice thing. Like my wife, right, right. my wife's from Trinidad. Like rice is every meal, like every meal. It doesn't matter. There's always a pot of rice. You know, it, it's just, that's, that's a North American thing, man. Yep. But even in, even in Mexico, they eat rice like crazy. It's just, it's like Canada and the States and of countries out in Europe. It's just, rice is just, it's one of those things you have. It's a side dish, but like everywhere else around the world, it's a staple. <laughs> it's like, you can't go anywhere without rice. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Is it good? Well, rice I walked though? into a rice store. Oh yeah. Yeah. I walked into a, a rice store. Right. All they sell, and I bet you there was probably fifty different kinds of rice in there. I didn't know there was that many. Wow. You know, uh, you know. It, I mean, I I know about Yasmin and you know a few of the other ones, but oh my God, you know. And this little Thai guy was explaining to me. He had very good English, by the way, and mm -hmm. uh, was explaining to me that you use this rice to make this, and you use this rice to make that. You know, nice. so you're making when you're getting a meal, I'm assuming that most homes have this, you know, like cabinet full of kinds of rice, you know, right. depending on what you're going to make. So, um, yeah, if, and if you really want to see a Thai person freak out, come here and eat their spice foods. Right. Because they swear to God, they're the only ones that can eat food. Oh, Thai people only. Thai people only. And Man. So we were out eating the other night, and we were at uh, Pad Thai, and they gave me this little bag of spicy stuff, you know. So I asked them, what's this? They said, spices, no good for any, no good for any Thai people. And I said, ah, screw that. And I opened it up. Right. And I went to dump it on, and they took it out of my hand. No, they took it out of my hand. And that little bitty spoon, and they're like, here, you buy first. And they put, like, I, I don't know, this little dab in there, you know. I ate it. Oh, that's pretty good. And they looked at me, and, and you could really see their eyes big. Right. When I went, yeah, give me that back. You know, that's pretty good. And they go, no, you eat Thai. You know, they were amazed that, that I could eat, you know. And, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been. I'm, I'm, really from, I'm from the land of the, Cal the Carolina Reaper, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we got some <laughs> hot ass peppers in America. Yeah, you're, you're you know. Nice. That's cool, man. Yeah, um, you're, you're chili, man. Yeah, like, like, yeah. like, like Thai, what, Thai food can be hot, but it's not, to me, that's not the hottest food in the world. I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot hotter foods, but I, I like I like Thai food personally. But, you know. Anywho. Uh, so do I. So I was, I was really glad to find a little place. Not far from here, where I can go in and get the real stuff. Not what they, not what they take for the, you know, the churros. Right. Because uh, the stuff in the churros has no flavor. Right. Yeah. It's 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 oh, yeah. it's it's westernized, <laughs> westernized spice. Or oh, lacquer. very much so. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, so yeah. it goes. So, um, yeah, uh, you're. I know crypto. Right. So you're 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 in Thailand. Crypto in this area is. Go ahead, yeah, man. Go ahead. No, you're you're killing me. No, Rich. I was gonna, just gonna say that crypt. Yeah, I was just gonna say that crypto here is uh, pretty much a household name. Like I was telling you earlier, it's kind of like Kleenex. You know, it's a household name. Everybody knows what it is, but they don't know how they make it. Right. Well, it's the same way with crypto. Everybody knows what it is, but they don't know how to make it. So, while it's very, you know, it's openly discussed, you know, and everybody, you know, you know, crypto, oh, yeah, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, right, right, right. you know, but then they don't, they don't know how to get. It. So while there's an acceptance of it and a discussion of it, there's not much use of it yet. Right. Brings it back to, does the coin really have a use? That's a good point. Yeah. You know, you know. Perhaps that's where in that point, such as Steam, somebody could make great inroads where there's actually more of a use case established. Mm. So, yeah. It's cool, man. Yeah, I, I wonder what, what it's going to be like because, again, you're in Thailand and Steam Fest is here in a, you know, a week and a half or so from now. 
Um, the excitement is building on Steam. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it, which kills me because I had such a blast at Steam Fest 3. Uh, just an amazing, amazing experience. But I just couldn't do it this year. Uh, the, I wonder if this will get some coverage. Like, I, I don't know the you know exactly how it works um in thailand but seeing steam fest and seeing all these people come there i wonder if it'll spur the interest for for steam specifically and crypto in general inside of the country now again you're not in bangkok right now um but what are your plans man like for steam fest are you gonna head up or are you gonna uh go check it out you're gonna uh Go find the D Daily guys. I know they got a uh, they got something going on. <laughs> I gotta find, I'll reach out to them and see. But what do you, what are your plans for this stuff? I'm um, going up to Bangkok. I have to fly up because you said earlier Thailand is bigger than most people assume. Right. So it's about almost two and a half hour flight for me here to Bangkok. Um, so yeah, I'll fly up. I'm not exactly sure how early I'm going up. Um, I may go up on the first. I may wait a couple and go up and you know just kind of go in. But yes, we'll go up there and uh, hopefully do some live reporting. All right. Nice. Yeah. nice. Um, I think that some of the venues that they've had. I've been talking to some of the people here and and uh, some of the Thai people. And uh, you know, I'm just some of the places where uh, Steam Fest down at Bell, and some of them are very prominent places. Everybody knows about it. Right. right, like that museum plus that they're going to on uh, Saturday. I think. Um, it's it's like famous. Right. So, you know, um, to get coverage, I, I I don't know. I mean, I've watched high news, there, but it's in high. Yeah. So, hey, <laughs> you know, I, mean, I watch the pictures, but I don't know what they're saying. So I don't know how. They, I'll do that. Uh, I think that probably anybody's capable of getting a little, you know, P.I. out of this. I'm sure the group putting that on um, will. You nice. know. So, yeah. Um, but I think that you're going to have, with that, with an influx of, of, of people coming for a specific event, right. um, will attract attention uh, from the locals. Very inquisitive. People are very inquisitive. Um, and they ask a lot of questions. So uh, it, it might it, it might help spread awareness, you know. Nice. The danger won't hurt. You know, I mean every little bit everything that can be done to, to get the word out more is is positive. So, nice. yeah. Uh, speaking of getting the word out, we gotta do word of the day. Word of the day, I'm picking it, man. It's cowboy. Okay. So Cowboy is the word of the day. If you use <laughs> if you use cowboy inside of a comment below, we'll send you uh, SBI unit for your uh, for your engagement for your comments. But uh, try to try to try to give Rich some love, man. He's he's out there in Thailand, like an adventure. He's being adventurous. I I still can't believe he got onto a plane for over fifteen hours, sixteen hours, he didn't have a cigarette. Like that's amazing. I didn't have a for 30 and a half hours. So I left for time, bought a pack of cigarettes for 30 and a half hours. Jeez. And like killed when I looked at cigarettes. But, you know, and right now I'm smoking these funky little things. Is that, is that, that a Thai to... cigarette or is that American? It's Marlboro. Oh, it's Marlboro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's Marlboro. But they're, they're half cigarettes. They're half size cigarettes. All right. And, uh, yeah, and uh, that's what I'm smoking now because I'm down to where I, I don't hardly smoke anything at all here. Right. And uh, hopefully very soon. Uh, Thai people are very aware of smells. And, you know, so I'm trying to, which is a little odd. Not, not smell like cigarettes, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because you know when smokers you have a smell, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very bad smell, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I used to yeah. be one, so, you know, there you go. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah. But, yeah, use the, use the word cowboy. 
I may or may not be able to give you SDI units because I haven't got my VPN straightened out. I just arrived at this hotel yesterday. Nice. And, uh, so I haven't got a VPN set up. So I can't no, I got them, man. I got them. In. Yet, I got but. them. I, I got to do some uh, shameless self-promotion here. Um, I started using a new merchandising company. It was Teespring. And uh, I didn't want to talk about it until – I got the products and, you know, cause I was having a little bit of issues, but big, big shout out to Teespring. I got the, I got the official click track profit, uh, t-shirts, uh, and I'll put the link in the bottom of the post, uh, for you guys to check out. It's, it's really affordable. Uh, but more importantly, the message on the back of this is affiliate marketing for the rest of us. So uh, this is just a little, little, little something, you know, and, and, and we give these away, we give t-shirts away and, and mugs away at our live webinars as well. Uh, we do three of them a week. So no excuse. You guys can come by and maybe win one. Or if not, if you want to buy one and support CTP, you know, you can. That's my shameless self-promotion. But Teespring did a really good job. This is really good material. Uh, the print is really good, really nice. Feels thick and nice. And uh, it fits me perfectly. So Teespring is the new uh, store for ClickTrack Profit merchandise. Shameless self-promotion is done now. Back to Thailand and the cowboy. So yeah, man. Well, um, I guess the big news in crypto since you've been gone, and it's funny because it's right near where you're at right now. Uh, China made big announcements this past week, and you saw the price. I think it, it went up to almost 11k Bitcoin. It was at like 75k, 70, 7500, and then went up to 11k or something like. Madness. So what happened is this ch the Chinese government uh, basically said that the country needs to look into Bitcoin and blockchain and crypto. Um, that's an official statement from the government. It's not like some, this is, I think it was from the president. Uh, I'm not totally sure. But uh, so as China goes, so does the rest of the world. Now, China is obviously a pretty big player already, regardless of what, like, I mean, Bitmain is from there. Uh, the guy from Binance, uh, CZ is from there. I mean, the, the, the Chinese influence on crypto and blockchain is enormous. So now it's like almost like this kind of like feather in the cap, right? Where, where the government kind of said, okay, yay. Um, personally, for me, it doesn't change anything. You know, I mean, I, I'm still, if China said yes or no to, to Bitcoin and, and crypto and blockchain, it wouldn't have made a pill of beans different for me. But Steam is linked as one of the top 10 coins that the Chinese government gives thumbs up to, which is interesting. So the price didn't really go crazy. I think it went up to 15 cents from 13. I think we're hovering around 14 right now. I don't even know. Again, I don't even look at it, but the, it's more attention to Steam. We got Steam Fest. We got the Chinese government giving thumbs up to crypto as a whole, plus putting us on one of their uh, blockchains to watch type reports. So exciting times in crypto i guess i don't know what do you think first i have a little story about china okay um because i flew through shanghai and when i got on the plane to fly here there was a guy waiting there you know we got on he was sitting right across the aisle from me we were talking he was from new york and he's sitting there with his phone and he's trying to do i don't know what he was trying to do something on his phone and he looks at me and goes damn for some reason google doesn't work here and I looked at him and I said, you're in China. You're in China. And he goes, yeah, I know. Yeah. And I go, the great firewall of China? And he goes, yeah, but Google must be down. <laughs> okay. This speaks volumes about how much we rely on Google. You know, he was in China. He couldn't use it. He was having a meltdown. Wow. He, Google wasn't working. But that's China, you know? Right. Um, other than that, uh, as you know, we talked earlier. Uh, China is like any other place I've been. I did, you know, other than the fact that I was in a, you know, an airport where everybody was speaking Chinese, um, I would not have known I was in, hell, I could have been in, like you were saying, San Francisco, Toronto, anywhere else in the world. Right. China is no different. You know, we hear all these horror stories or whatever about China, but uh, my brief experience was that, hey, it ain't so bad. Um, now, as far as China is, adopting bitcoin um or saying crypto is okay i think yes that'll have an impact 
because there's a lot of Chinese with uh, expendable money right now. Right. And the more affluent upper middle class type Chinese people have been a little reserved um, because they were afraid that if they, you know, put money into crypto, the government says no, and that's right. not good. So will it have an effect? I think it will. I think it'll have a trickle down yeah. um, effect on the crypto economy. Is it going to shoot Bitcoin and steam, you know, to Bitcoin to 30,000 and steam to 10 bucks? Nah, probably not. Uh, yeah. But it will have an impact, I think. Well, the Chinese government is, first of all, they're, they're never going to embrace Bitcoin, right? Like, because that's, it's decentralized. It goes against everything that right. the Chinese government is about, right? But apparently they got some DCEP coin that they're doing. Like, it's like, it's a government run crypto. Um, this yeah. is what they're trying to implement. Way above my pay grade. I just, I think it's cool when other people that aren't in, you know, like you know, like just everyday people start talking about it and that's news, right? Like when the Chinese government starts talking about crypto and blockchain, that's news and it gets people talking. And the more people talk, the more they kind of dig for themselves. They kind of look into right. things instead of like a bunch of crypto nerds going, Hey, get into this, get into this, get into this. It's actual front page news of the wall street journal or something. I mean, it's actual newsworthy stuff. So it's good for me. I'm happy. Um, but it doesn't make or break my opinion on, obviously i mean we've been doing this now almost two years and i've lost more money in crypto than <laughs> in my life so i'm in it for the technology there you go there you go yeah yeah it's yeah. the only thing that keeps you sane man just keep telling yeah. yourself that over and over again yeah yeah I'm sure about it yeah yeah it's maybe i'll get that it's cool maybe i'll get a tattoo on my neck in, in time <laughs> for the technology yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hey, man, listen, it, it's it's great to see you and uh, knowing that you're safe uh, around the world. Uh, you know, what is it? What is it? Twelve thirty there, or one thirty, or something in the afternoon? It is. Yeah, one thirty, one forty, one forty, one forty. There you afternoon. go. Yeah, it's it's, it's twelve forty here in the oh. morning. So, M middle yeah. of the night for me, middle of the day for you. Um, yep. So yeah, it's good. It's good to see you, man. And, and hopefully we can keep doing these. I know you're busy and running around, but um, it's cool to check in. And uh, now that you got the interwebs and your bags back, that's a positive. Yes, so, that's definitely a positive. Yes. yes ex and they even delivered it to me. So Beautiful. Um, expect more from LR. The LR oh, adventures yeah. in, in Thailand. Um, I have no adventures. I'm freezing in the, in the Canadian tundra, you know, in, in the basement still with the microphone anyways thank you guys for watching good to see lr he's here uh have a good week we'll see you guys uh you know whenever we'll see you guys we're always around remember to use the word of the day for your sbi oh cowboy go cowboys <laughs>